when he discovers that his people are being imprisoned by a group of colonizers, the king of the jungle returns home and is determined to do whatever it takes to save his family. Today we're going to recap the story of the 2016 movie, The Legend of Tarzan. In 1884, during the Berlin Conference, the great nations of the world decided to divide the Congo without even consulting the Africans. At the same time, King Leopold II of Belgium claimed the Congo Basin in order to extract the large quantities of minerals and precious stones present in these lands. Five years later, he had run up numerous debts on behalf of the crown and sent Leon Rom into the country to steal the legendary diamonds of Opar. In order to catch them, his army had to eliminate dozens of natives with their firearms until they came across the tribe of Mobanga. The warriors of this village were already prepared for the arrival of the colonizers and attacked them with their arrows and rudimentary weapons. At the end of the battle, Leon became the only survivor of his group and had the opportunity to negotiate with Chief Mobanga. The tribal leader says that if the outsider manages to lead Tarzan to him, he will receive a chest of diamonds as a reward and Leon promises that he will carry out this mission. A few years ago, Tarzan, the king of the jungle left the African continent to live in London, England. After coming into contact with Europeans, he discovered that he was the son of a lady and a British lord and that his real name was John Clayton III. One day, John is approached by a guy called George Washington Williams, an American who has come to England to ask for his help in investigating what King Leopold II has been doing to the natives since he took control of the Congo. There are rumors that the people are being imprisoned and forced to extract all the wealth from their own land to hand it over to the Belgian government. Concerned for his friends and family in the forest, the man accepts the invitation to accompany George on this expedition. When he was just a baby, John and his parents got lost in the forest and, a few months later, his mother became very ill. After Alice perished, her husband decided to bury her under the treehouse they had built, and that same day he suffered an attack. The man was attacked by numerous gorillas and did not survive. However, while the pack was attacking him, a female called Kala broke into the shelter and found a baby inside. At this point, the gorilla decided to adopt the human child and had to protect him from her own husband, who was the leader of the group and would not accept Tarzan as a member of his family. Upon arriving at his castle, John shares the news with Jane and the woman says she will accompany him on the journey. He immediately tries to convince his wife that this is a bad idea, as she will be exposed to a multitude of dangers in the forest, but Jane doesn't care. Like him, the woman has spent most of her life living in Africa and can't wait to meet her friends again. When he arrived in the Congo, George and the couple were greeted by three lionesses who hadn't seen John for several years and yet remembered him. After greeting his longtime friends, he heads to the Boma tribe and is welcomed by Chief Moviru. When they see the couple, all the villagers start celebrating and Jane is thrilled to finally be able to be with her family after spending so much time away. When she meets with Simbu again, her childhood friend, the woman runs to hug him and is taken to the old house where she was brought up with her father. That night, as they gather around the campfire, the group begins to sing the legend of Tarzan. For many years, the natives thought that the king of the jungle was an evil spirit who controlled the animals of the forest, but the truth is that Tarzan always had great respect for all creatures and so he learned to conquer them. His gorilla mother, Kala, loved him like her own son and his brother, Akut, treated him with kindness and respect. Tarzan considered all men to be his enemies, since other tribes hunted his band as a rite of passage. One day, while playing with some native children in the forest, Jane saw him for the first time and the two had their first contact. Since then, they have never been apart. On his first night in the tribe, while sleeping next to his beloved, John hears some strange footsteps approaching the village and goes out to investigate. After arresting all the members of the tribe and taking them prisoner, Leon goes to question Chief Moviru, who refuses to give any information about Tarzan's whereabouts. After eliminating some of the invaders, John runs to protect the leader of the tribe, but is captured and sees Moviru shot in the head. Furious, the king of the jungle tries to fight back and attacks the mercenaries, but they join in and use a rope to tie his whole body up. After selecting some members of the tribe to be taken prisoner, Leon orders his men to set fire to the village and John discovers that his wife has also been captured. After managing to catch their main target, the group is on their way back to the boat when they are surprised by George. The man is a great American gunner and manages to eliminate most of his enemies single-handedly. When they hear the shots, the rest of the tribe goes after the criminals and the guys who are carrying John have to leave him behind in order to escape. Despite failing to capture Tarzan, Leon takes Jane and other members of the Boma tribe prisoner so he is sure that John will go after them and intends to set a trap to arrest him once again. After the invaders leave, George goes into the woods to look for the Lord and manages to save his friend, who was about to suffocate, because of the rope that had been tied around his neck. The next morning, 
The tribe mourns the perishment of their leader and John thinks of a plan to recover all the people who were taken that morning. For some mysterious reason, the man knows that Leon went there to capture him and take him to Mobanga to be used as a bargaining chip. So he gathers some of the tribe's warriors to accompany him on this rescue mission and plots the shortest route to reach the enemy tribe before Leon does. On hearing the plan, George decides to accompany him and can feel the hatred pulsing through John's body for the man who captured his wife. Unlike Tarzan and the other natives of those lands, the American doesn't have great physical conditioning and ends up falling behind along the way. After a few hours of walking, the group reaches the edge of a cliff and George is completely exhausted. When he asks how they're going to catch the train that's traveling at 65 km per hour, he sees his companions jumping off the cliff and gathers the courage to go after them. The men then run up the trunks of the trees using vines to swing from and reach the vehicle. Seeing that George won't be able to complete this stage of the mission, John decides to help him and asks him to hold onto his back. Then, as the train approaches, they jump off and manage to reach it. Standing over the roof of the vehicle, the pair see a group of men in chains and realize that this is a prisoner transport vehicle. So the king of the forest decides to go down to the wagon and confront the soldiers to get the keys to the chains. During the battle, he manages to eliminate a large part of the enemy army single-handedly and his companions capture the engineer responsible for building the railroads that connect one corner of the country to the other. When the works are finished, King Leopold II will have control of the entire country and will imprison all the natives to suck up every resource available in the region. Leon Rahm is the one who planned all this and is in charge of operations. Soon, if his plan works, he will be appointed governor-general. Upon hearing this, John remembers that his wife was taken by this man and his concern for her grows even greater. The first time they saw each other, he got scared and ran off into the forest. Curious to find out who this wild man was, Jane went after him and ended up being chased by a gorilla. To protect her from the attacks, John used his own body as a shield and had to be taken to the village to be treated, as he was seriously injured. While waiting for her husband to come and rescue her, Jane is taken to a dinner party with the criminal and with Simbu is imprisoned in a suspended cage. If the woman tries to harm Leon, his friend will be thrown into the river and drown. During dinner, Jane compliments the rosary that the man carries on his wrist and he tells her that he got it as a present when he was only nine years old. When he went to Jerusalem, his priest found that beautiful necklace made of Madagascar spider silk and decided to give it to Leon. At that moment, the man gets up to get some seasoning for his food and Jane tries to stab him in the back. However, he manages to act in time and uses the rosary to hold the woman's wrist, preventing her from moving her arm. Then they both go back to eating as if nothing had happened and Leon tells her of his plans to hand Tarzan over to Chief Mobanga. Despite having accepted the mission to capture the king of the jungle, the man doesn't know why Mobanga wants to eliminate him so badly and Jane reveals that her husband took the life of his only son. Upon hearing this, Leon is perplexed and Jane says that John will do even worse to the wretch who captured the woman he loves. After helping to rescue some natives who were being forced to work as prisoners, John continues his journey and George decides to accompany him to the end of his mission. While walking through the jungle, they come across a flock of ostriches and the marine plans to ride one of these animals so that he can get around more quickly. However, John warns him and says that if he does this, George runs the serious risk of having his body torn apart by the bird's gigantic claws. So the pair have to keep moving until they reach a part of the forest that belongs to the gorillas. At the sight of those frightening animals, George prepares to shoot, but changes his mind when John says that if the man eliminates one of them, the rest of the gang will only stop attacking him when he's eliminated. The leader of the group is Akut, a gorilla who once considered Tarzan his brother. But now he's just a deserter and will have to fight Akut if he wants to get his permission to cross the forest. Before the duel begins, John asks George not to interfere in the battle, whatever happens. Despite having grown up in that tribe and being an extremely strong man, John is unable to defeat his primate brother, who possesses much more strength and fighting ability. Nevertheless, he strives to be a worthy opponent for Akut and attacks him, even anticipating the outcome of the duel. Then, after hitting his deserter brother several times, the gorilla takes a bite out of his shoulder and walks towards George. Following John's instructions, the man bows down to the leader and the animal stops attacking him. After demonstrating his sovereignty and defeating the king of the jungle in a fair fight, Akut leaves and George rushes to help his friend tend to his wound. After cleaning the wound, he uses ants to sew up John's skin and they both receive an illustrious visit from a family of elephants. The matriarch is happy to see John again and presents her baby to him. The group then leaves and the two men go in search of a safe place to spend the night. The next morning, Leon and his team of mercenaries continue their journey on their way to Mobanga's tribe and arrive at a stretch of river that is teeming with hippos. Just then, 
Jane is freed from her chains to have another chat with Leon and begins to speak to her friend in a native language, completely unknown to the outsiders. Furious at the woman's attitude, one of the men lets go of the cage and Wasimbu falls into the water. Seeing him in danger, Jane immediately attacks the guards and jumps into the river. When they pull the cage back up, the criminals realize that she has managed to save the native and is about to reach the shore. Jane narrowly manages to escape the attack of a ferocious hippo and runs through the forest alongside Wasimbu. Knowing that Leon will follow her trail, the woman asks her friend to flee in the opposite direction and ends up running into a Coots tribe. Jane quickly bows to the leader of the group and then spots Leon's gang approaching. Worried about the apes, she decides to return to the boat with the enemy as long as he promises not to harm the animals. However, as they both walk away, a man shoots one of the gorillas and is followed by his companions, who begin a brutal attack on the primates. At that moment, John can hear the shots and, as he concentrates, he hears Jane's voice shouting for the to stop shooting. So he quickly jumps off the cliff and uses a vine as a way to swing through the trees and get to where his wife is faster. Seeing many members of his family eliminated, a coot rushes towards the invaders with the aim of crushing them. Then one of the gunmen prepares to fire another shot. Just as the gorilla was about to be shot, John appears and manages to save him. At that point, they both join forces to eliminate their common enemies, but by then Jane has already been taken far away. While being dragged away by Leon and his gang, the woman hears Tarzan scream and is relieved to know that her husband is nearby. A few minutes later, George reaches the forest and realizes that a battle has taken place there. He then becomes worried about John and decides to follow his friend's tracks. On his way to the Mobanga tribe, John remembers the day he lost his gorilla mother. Kala was peacefully feeding under a tree when a boy shot an arrow into her back. When he heard his mother's scream, Tarzan ran to her, but could do nothing to save her and watched her perish in his arms. Furious, he sought revenge and, with the help of other gorillas, eliminated several members of Mobanga's tribe, including his son. Since then, the man has been seeking revenge on the king of the jungle and is waiting for him the moment John arrives in his village. Just then, he sees Jane being taken to a boat and a chest of diamonds is handed to Leon. Determined to rescue his wife, John attacks all the natives who try to capture him and, even at a disadvantage, manages to defeat them. However, he soon starts a duel against the leader of the tribe, at which point George appears with his rifle. During the fight, John states that he is not Mobanga's enemy and says that it is Leon who needs to be eliminated, as he will soon return to take over those lands that are full of diamonds. Blinded by his anger at John over the last few years, Mobanga doesn't listen to him. So the man has to immobilize him and puts a knife to his neck. Now that he has the chief of the tribe as a prisoner, John has the opportunity to negotiate with them, at which point George appears. In an attempt to make amends with Mobanga, John reveals the real reason for eliminating his son and tells him that the young man had attacked his mother. Suddenly, a coot appears to support his brother and his gang surrounds all the men of the tribe. After explaining the situation to Mobanga, George manages to make him realize that Leon is the real threat and, once again, John goes after him. At that moment, he gives another war cry and Jane is relieved to know that her husband has managed to survive the tribe's attack. Later, the invaders arrive at the camp and John decides to enlist the help of his feline friends to send a herd of buffalo to invade the place where the settler's army is sheltering. Terrified by the sudden arrival of hundreds of animals, the soldiers decide to abandon their guns and flee while the buffalo destroy everything they pass. In the midst of the chaos, the lions also join the battle and Leon decides to flee with the diamonds, taking Jane prisoner. As she is forced to run towards the ocean, the woman screams for her husband and John decides to hitch a ride with the buffalo to catch up with her. After climbing onto the bridge, he sees his beloved hanging from a hook and rushes to save her. Before Jane falls and is trampled by the herd, John manages to rescue her and delivers her safely into George's arms. He then goes after Leon and the man orders his men to destroy the bridge in an attempt to stop him. However, John manages to survive and swims towards his enemy. At that moment, George finds a machine gun and decides to use it to shoot at the boat, forcing all the crew to jump into the water. What they don't realize is that there are some extremely dangerous crocodiles living in those waters. When he finally manages to reach the ship, John finds no one and comes to the conclusion that everyone, including Leon, has managed to escape. So he takes the diamond chest to return it to Mobanga's tribe and is surprised by his enemy, who uses a rosary to tie his neck. Soon after, Leon picks up the chest with the aim of taking it to the ship, but John prevents him from escaping. As the crocodiles approach the sinking ship, John grabs his opponent between the legs and, after snapping the rope around his neck, throws Leon into the water. At that moment, the missionary sent by King Leopold is devoured and the ship they are on explodes shortly afterwards. Seeing the defeat of their enemies, 
the natives celebrate and Wasimbu is among them giving his cry for freedom. After witnessing the explosion, Jane is worried about her husband and wonders if he was able to escape alive. Then, to her surprise, John appears behind her and the couple celebrate being together again. When he meets George again, John hugs him and thanks his friend for all his help since they arrived in the country. For the first time in history, rival tribes come together to celebrate and commemorate the fact that their country has been freed from the power of the colonizers. After all his adventures in Africa, George made numerous accusations against Leopold II, the king of the Belgians. In 1890, thanks to the witnesses and documents he gathered, George Washington Williams was able to prove Leopold's abuse of power and prevented the natives from continuing to be imprisoned in order to generate wealth for the foreign country. A year has passed since Tarzan and Jane returned to Africa and, since then, they have never been back to England. One fine afternoon, John is sitting on the lawn with his friends from the Boma tribe when a group of women announce the birth of their son. Jane spent the last few hours in labor and gave birth to a perfectly healthy baby, which is cause for celebration for the whole village. When he holds the baby for the first time, John is thrilled and celebrates the birth of his first child with his wife. Now that he is back home, he has the opportunity to strengthen his ties with the family that raised him and re-establish the bond he had lost with his gorilla brother. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.